Hey there, I'm your host Lesoe, and this is part 9 of the inventory system series. In the last episode, we built an item slider, and in today's video, we'll be building a hotbar. So with that said, let's begin. Let's begin by going into our content drawer, and we want to right click on our blueprint component, inventory, and we want to create a child class. Now this child class will be calling our hotbar, like so. Let's save it. And next, let's go to our third person character. And we also want to add this like we did with our own inventory. So let's do PPC underscore hotbar. Now with this hotbar, we want to give it some size. So I'll give it nine slots. And for the interact radius, it doesn't need any. So we can set it to be zero. Let's compile and save that. And next, let's go ahead and create a visual representation of this. So back into our UI folder we go, UI. And the hotbar is going to be very similar to our inventory. So another easy way is to simply duplicate our own inventory. And let's do wb underscore hotbar. Inside here, we want to go ahead and let's save our wrap box first. We can delete the scroll box, which will also delete the wrap box. Let's paste this under the last border. Save those two. Let's delete this overlay. This inventory size box, filters, inventory, title. Paste this in our size box hotbar. Save everything. Get rid of everything then. And finally paste. And if we select the size box, we can override the width and give it a width of 680 and then do desired on screen. And there we go. This will be our hotbar. For the wrap box, let's give it a padding of four overall. And with that, uh, let's compile and save. And the graph is going to stay fairly similar for now. So we don't have to change anything. The next thing is, we should implement this hotbar into our inventory. So let's go back into our inventory, select our size box hotbar, and let's search for our hotbar widget, select it, and then drag it in. And there we go, our hotbar sits in very nicely. So another thing we can do, compile and save. Let's add it to our player display. So go to your player display, and where we have reconstruct, we're adding our player's inventory. But now let's also get this inventory widget, get our hotbar widget, and do refresh inventory. Now the inventory component, we're going to do a very similar thing with our get player character. So we can get this and do get component by class. And because this is a child class, it'll have no issue going in there. And there we go. Let's compile and save. And let's also add this on our container display. Our container inventory also needs to know about uh, our hotbar on the pre-construct. So here we have our container layers inventory. So let's copy most of this or all of this, change this to hotbar. And now with this, let's get our hotbar widget and then do refresh. Log down like that. And there we go. Our hotbar should now appear on screen. So let's give this a quick test. Play button. Hotbar is there, looking pretty good. And if I go pick something up and I want to drag it in, split it, works perfectly fine. So that's all good. What about the container? Open it up, still exists, can move stuff around, add it, split it, use it. Perfect. So all of that works. Next, let's go ahead and create our display of our hotbar on our HUD. So in order to do that, I'll get a user widget. And let's call this wb underscore hotbar display. Inside, we want to grab a canvas panel. 
Now on top of this, I'll grab my hotbar widget we just made. Let's size it to content, give it an alignment of 0.5 and 1. On the anchors, we'll do bottom center. Let's reset those two and I'll give it an offset of 20 on the Y axis. And that's looking good. So let's go to the event graph, get rid of event tick and construct. Everything happens on pre-construct. And let's get our player character. Let's get component by class. This is going to be a hotbar class or hotbar component. And let's promote this to a variable, calling it uh, hotbar component. Connect that in there. And next, we want to get our item slots. And we want to do a resize of it. And the size will be get inventory size from our hotbar. Connect it in there. And lastly, let's get our widget and do refresh inventory. And the inventory in question is our hotbar component there. And that's looking pretty good. So let's compile, save, and give this a quick test. So if I hit the play button, ah yes, we also should implement this in our HUD before we go to test this. So go into your third person character, UI, player HUD, and at the event graph, I want to create another custom event called create hot bar display. And with this hotbar display, I'm going to create a widget hot bar display, not the hotbar, you want the display. And let's also promote this to a variable wb hot bar display. And lastly, let's add this to viewport. Like so. Compile that, save it. And let's also implement this on the pre construct event. So grab it, connect it there. And now when this HUD spawns, it also spawns with our hotbar. Compile it, save it, and let's finally test it. So there we go. It appears on our screen. If I pick something up and drag it into the hotbar, there we go. We can see it. Pick some more mushrooms, drag this in, split it, and let's eat something. It all updates. So that said, that's pretty much it. In the next video, we'll cover the take function. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.